Now we're going to set the length of our first section for recording. So if you look along the top of your screen, you'll see a ruler guide. This has the bar numbers of music on it and it will say number one to eight at the moment. If you go to the plus sign at the end of that ruler and tap there, it will open up the song sections menu. You can then tap on the arrow where it says eight bars and we're going to edit that. We're going to scroll down to make it four bars long. Once you've matched your section length like that, you can tap anywhere to exit that menu. And if you look along the top, you should now have number one to four. So that's your first four bar section. Now, if I tap play, you'll hear what's called the click track, which you're going to record along with. So the first thing to do is to play your click track and practice tapping your finger gently on your desk in time with those clicks. It's really important when you record that you play as close to in time with that beat as you can. Okay. So once you've had a listen and you've focused in to that tempo, the speed of that click track, you can stop at the top and then you'll notice that this arrow is about halfway along the ruler. We need that to be at the beginning of the ruler for recording. So I'm going to tap return here at the top next to the play button and the arrow will jump back to the beginning so that when I record, I will be recording from the beginning of the section. Now, the notes for section A are really simple in the chords. We're just going to play 16 Cs. Okay, the place to tap for your C chord is the second top space on the chord strip here. Going from the top down, we have high pitched notes gradually getting deeper. And the pitch that we want to choose to be in the middle of our musical texture for Jingle Bells is this space here, okay? So when I tap record, I will hear a count in of four and then I'm going to count 16 Cs tapping in time with the beat. Okay, so I'm going to tap record with my finger and then I'll do the recording with the mouse so that you can see that. back to me what I've recorded. I'll just tap stop there. If you haven't quite got it in time with the beat and you want to re-record, that's fine. You just tap return so that your arrow goes back to the beginning. And then if you tap record, it will just record over your previous recording and you can redo it as many times as you need to. Okay, well done.